Good evening. Welcome back to Precious Flex Entertainment TV. My name is Victoria and 3rd of March 2022. Here is the news update today, we are bringing it to you from the Netherlands. If you are seeing this channel for the first time please do your best to subscribe, like and share our videos. Russian aggression in Ukraine is totally unprecedented and is shifting increasingly towards civilian targets, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte said on Thursday. The images of the destruction, including that of an apartment complex in Charkov will never be forgotten, Rutt said after a meeting with ministers. Rutt also said it is important to document all potential war crimes. Human rights abuses should never go unpunished, and justice must be served, the Prime Minister said. Dutch Foreign Minister Wope Hoekstra has already taken the initiative with the UN to set up a committee to monitor human rights abuses, Rutt said. The Prime Minister said that at the moment it is impossible to say how many Ukrainians will come to the Netherlands, but that they would be warmly welcomed. Ukrainians do not have to report to the refugee center in Terapil, but can instead stay with friends and family, although some have already traveled to Groningen. Ukrainian nationals have 90 days visa-free travel within the EU under a Ukraine-EU Friendship Treaty, and that will be extended for a longer period, Dutch officials said earlier. Some 20,000 Ukrainian nationals currently live in the Netherlands. Local councils don't have enough money to help homeowners go gas-free. Under the terms of the National Climate Agreement, 1.5 million homes should be removed from the gas network by 2030, but 55% of local councils say they don't have enough money to ensure this happens, and 48% say current strategy on insulation and alternative energy sources is too expensive for their residents. NU.NL sent its survey to all 345 Dutch local authority areas and 239, or almost 70 percent, responded. The research took place before the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which is having a major impact on both the price and supply of gas. Just 8 percent of councils said they had removed some housing from the gas grid and 26 percent are currently working toward it. In particular, there is a lot of uncertainty about city heating schemes which are considered to be a suitable alternative to individual gas-fired systems. Just one in five local authorities said they planned to expand existing city heating systems with the rest undecided or against. Electric heat pumps are seen as a better option by local authorities even though they are expensive and require high standards of insulation to be effective. The coalition agreement includes budget to help local authorities pay for the energy transition, starting with 300 million euros next year and rising to 800 million euros in 2025. However, this is well below the amount recommended by the local authority council, which said last year 1.8 billion euros was needed in the period 2022 to 2024 alone. Dutch civil service pension fund ABB is selling its remaining investments in Russia in the wake of the invasion of Ukraine. The fund, one of the biggest in the world, has some 520 million euros invested in Russia, or around 0.1% of its total assets. ABB said in a statement that it is shocked by the Russian invasion and had therefore decided to ditch all its interests there. ABP has also sold some of its investments in Russian oil and gas companies in connection with our October decision to sell our investments in fossil fuel producers, the fund said. The sale of the remaining investments may take some time as market conditions are complex at the moment. The Netherlands entry for this year's Eurovision Song Contest is the first Dutch language entry for 12 years. The Deep, the Deep is a tribute to the sadness and memories that you carry with you co-writer and performer S10 told the Eurovision website. Everyone experiences difficult times in their lives. That's something we all have in common and I hope you will feel less alone when you listen to the song, she said. The 21-year-old, who started performing when she was 16, is known for her extremely personal songs, often about her own experiences of depression. The number of positive coronavirus tests registered in the Netherlands reached over 48,500 in the 24 hours to Wednesday morning, and that is the highest number in two weeks. The combination of winter sports holidays, the carnival celebrations and the end of most coronavirus measures are likely to be behind the increase, health experts say. 
There has also been a sharp rise in the number of tests being taken minus 90,000 compared with 67,000 on Tuesday, the figures show. This is the news update for today. Thank you.